Hello friends, this is the second part of bulk upload excel functionality in MVC3 Razor video. In this video we will be walking through the code and let's let's walk through the code. Now let's start with the global.asx. Now my global.asx says my first view will be from bulk upload excel controller and the action method will be bulk upload. So I go to the bulk upload action or I could say bulk upload view. So if I go to this view, so the view is divided into two parts. Now this is the first div and this is the second div. The first div is uh, for the download part that is for downloading the excel and the second is for the uploading now if you see this is the basically the excel image on which we click and we download the excel now on click of this image we have called there's a jquery which is working here so when you click the excel file it is redirecting us to the download excel file method which is action met method present in the bulk upload excel controller so when you go to this controller and uh, find this method so you'll, you'll see here what we are doing here we are using an extension method Extens extension method is basically a static class so if you go to this class it has a single method which takes a file name and file path as parameter and which re and gives us the bytes so what we do is we we pass the name of the xls file that is our excel file which is present here and we give the path using the server.map path that is content inside excel and here is our excel file so what it does it reads that reads that excel file and give us the byte and we are returning the excel byte here and we are returning the file content so this basically allows a user to download the excel file which is present in my directory itself so this is basically the downloading part so now let's go to the view to check out the uploading part so when you come to the html for uploading so what it says we have created a simple begin form and here, here we are specifying that when you click when the submit button will be clicked the upload file action method will be called of bulk upload excel file and we have used post method and let's check this upload file method and one more thing to specify uh, we have used file upload view model so if you go to this view model and you check there is a simple stdb posted file what it does is when you click the submit button the excel file which is uploaded will get this excel file in the upload file method inside the model and as we have created a file as a property so this property will be filled with the excel file so here what we are doing here we are checking the model state now if you check the view model here we have applied excel validator excel validator is custom data annotation attribute that is created which will validate the input excel file so what it checks whether the file name of the excel is this and if the file content is excel or not and it validates the excel file if you are trying to upload some other file instead of excel file so it basically gives you the error message now if you move down the code here we are creating a class object of service class service class is the class where we are interacting with the database so here what we are doing here we are first saving the file details so if you go to this method we are passing the object of model if you go to this method so it basically saving the data saving the table that is the first table upload excel table 
so it basically adds or inserts data in all the columns except processing status and failure reason as or is processed because these these columns will be filled only after the excel file is processed so here the initial level data is entered into the db and after that we are creating the name of the file now we are going to save this file which is uploaded at a physical path so we are naming the path as this and what we are doing is We are creating a path which is the combination of uploaded Excel documents, the file GUID, the GUID with which we have created the Excel file or inserted the Excel file and the file name. So now if we check this, this folder will be present in my directory. If I go to open containing folder, if I go here, so here is the that folder where all the ex uploaded excel files are present so when the excel file is saved in this physical path then the excel file is read from here so so that code basically saves this 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 code saves the excel file in the physical path which is this and after that we are creating a connection string and ol EDB data adapter and we are fetching the result or data rows from the excel file into a data table so now we are reading the first sheet of the excel so we specify here that selected from the first sheet and we are getting the data in the data table now once we have the data from the excel file we need to validate that data and we have written that method in the service class so here what we are doing we are fetching one one record that is first name last name and we are validating it so when you go to this method it basically checks if the input is null or not if the input is null it is uh, adding uh, one entry in the failure repository now this failure repository is basically excel failure repository class which has a single list which maintains a list of exceptions so it's very simple to track all the exceptions so similarly we are validating for every row that is last name age and validating the password as well so when all these met the validation all for all the columns if the validation is true then only we are returning true else we are returning false and if there is no row so what will happen this is row present will always be false so when is row present is false then we say the excel is empty there is no row so this is about the validation part now once my validation is true i am iterating over the data row data row is basically the first name last name and i am saving the row in the database if you go to the save user details what is doing what it is doing it is saving the records in the database so data which is which i have entered in the excel file is saved into the database now here once i know that my data is saved that means my excel is proper and it is being processed only after data is saved i can say my excel is processed so i am here updating the is processed processing status and failure reason for my excel so this is the update updation part now when my excel is not valid i am sending it as failure so when my excel is failed for validation so i put the processing as is done and processing status as failure and else return view now this else is for this if this is basically if my if my model state is not valid i am returning the view with the model and this model contains all the errors which will be shown to the ui so this is all about the code and we have used data annotation attribute that is excel validator to validate the excel input and we have also used an extension method that is basically a static class which converts the excel file into the bytes so this is all about the code 
walkthrough for bulk upload functionality. Thank you friends.